Welcome back to Ergun Academy. This is a very special episode. Our topic today relates back to the two-part series on cleaning air gun barrels we had back in episodes 31 and 32. You need to know the information in those episodes in order to fully understand today's lesson. Today we're going to learn why air gun barrels rarely need to be cleaned. But first, let's ask ourselves, why do you need to clean the barrel of a firearm? In the 19th century, barrels had to be cleaned because the only gunpowder that existed was black powder. As much as 55% of the powder was unburned and became either smoke at the discharge or ash left inside the barrel. What was left in the gun attracted water and turned into sulfuric acid, which rusted and pitted the barrel in as little as 24 hours after firing. So, immediate cleaning was necessary or the barrel would quickly be ruined. When smokeless powder came into use, there were still problems with the priming compounds that were corrosive and did pretty much the same thing as black powder. This is still a problem today with certain types of military ammunition. So cleaning the barrel of certain types of firearms soon after firing, still very important. Another problem with firearms is that their bullets leave deposits of lead or copper jacket material bonded to the steel of the barrel. If these deposits aren't removed, the accuracy of the firearm soon suffers. For all these reasons, barrel cleaning is an old and very important part of firearm maintenance. But remember, air guns are not firearms. They don't leave behind gunpowder residue, and for the most part, they don't suffer from lead deposits left by the pellets. Only when the pellets travel around 950 feet per second and faster are they subject to leave lead in the barrel. For this reason, Air gun barrels don't have to be cleaned nearly as often as firearm barrels. In fact, many times they don't need cleaning at all. However, many shooters assume air guns need to be cleaned in the same way and for the same reasons as firearms. Let's do a little experiment. I have just cleaned this air venturi Bronco. Now, let me run a clean patch through it and see what comes out. As you can see, the patch is clean. Let's go outside. I'm going to shoot this rifle about five times. Now, I'm going to run another clean patch through it. Now take a look at the patch, which you actually see is not dirt. The black on the patch is actually the compound that the pellet manufacturer puts on the outside of each pellet to keep the lead from oxidizing. If they didn't coat the pellets with something, they would soon turn white because the exposed lead oxidizes. Every pellet manufacturer puts something on their pellets to prevent oxidation. Oil and wax are sometimes used, but many pellet manufacturers use powdered graphite. And they put it on so thin that you can't see it. After you've handled many pellets, your fingertips will be black from this graphite. Here's the important point of this lesson. Immediately after you clean your air gun barrel, the very next pellet you shoot will deposit antioxidant powder into the bore again. So, a cleaning patch run through the bore will always look dirty. But, every time a new pellet is shot, it scrapes some of the deposit from the bore and leaves some of its own behind. Once a barrel gets to a certain state of being dirty this way, it doesn't retain any more antioxidant. From then on, it's in a steady state with no more buildup of the compound. You can clean your air guns all the time. But immediately when you start shooting again, it will get dirty. That's why we recommend you only clean your air gun barrel when accuracy falls off. And remember, only clean steel barrels, never brass. One last caution, cleaning a barrel exposes it to wear from the cleaning rod. If the rifling at the muzzle is worn, it will cause a loss of accuracy. Frequent cleaning can do more damage to your gun than just leaving it alone.
This lesson covered actual cleaning as opposed to cleaning theory. So some of the points I've made may have gone unnoticed. So let's review them. Firearms are cleaned to remove powder residue and copper and lead fouling. Air guns don't have powder residue, and unless they're very fast, such as around 950 feet per second, they don't get fouled with lead. Pellets are covered with an antioxidant compound that they leave in the bore. Even after they've been cleaned, air gun barrels soon get dirty with this compound. Only clean steel air gun barrels, never brass. Cleaning can wear the muzzle, which causes inaccuracy. It's seldom necessary to clean air gun barrels, and you should only clean when accuracy drops off. Keep on watching, and we'll help you find the right air gun for all your shooting needs. And be on the lookout for more great episodes that deal with different types of air guns for a variety of uses. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.